In this example, we will try and determine the number of solutions for a system by inspecting the coefficients of each equation. In part A, we have x plus 2y equals 8 and x plus 2y equals 8. These equations are identical. They will result in the same line and have infinite solutions. Both equations become y equals minus 1 over 2x plus 4, and the graphs lie directly on top of each other. As we learned in the previous example, when two graphs lie directly on top of each other, they have infinite solutions. In part b, we have 3x plus 9y equals minus 9, and x plus 3y equals minus 3. If you have two equations, and one can be converted into the other through multiplication or division, they represent the same line. When the first equation is divided by 3, it becomes a second equation. This system will have infinite solutions. We can verify this by converting each equation to slope-intercept form in graphing. We get y equals minus 1 over 3x minus 1 for each line, and the graphs lie right on top of each other. In part c, we have x plus 2y equals 4, and x plus 2y equals 10. If the coefficients of the variables are the same, but the constants differ, the lines are parallel. If we convert each equation to slope-intercept form, we get the same slopes but different y-intercepts. These lines are parallel and there are no solutions. In part d, we have 4x plus 12y equals 12 and x plus 3y equals 9. Reduce the first equation to see how it compares to the second equation. Divide each side by 4 to get x plus 3y equals 3. Comparing this to the second equation, we have the same coefficients, but the constant is different. These are parallel lines. Verify this by converting each equation to slope-intercept form and graphing. We get identical slopes of minus 1 over 3 for each line, but the y-intercepts are different, as we predicted. This system has no solution since the lines never intersect. To summarize, when you have the same slopes and the same y-intercepts, the lines lie right on top of each other and have infinite solutions. When the slopes are the same but the y-intercepts are different, the lines are parallel and have no solution. When the slopes are different, the lines will have one intersection point.